Rowan, how exactly is your fund different from other mainstream products and alternative investments? So as I mentioned, we have a somewhat non-traditional background. I have a, a background in, in building and management consulting, private equity, and leverage that into the hedge fund space and some of the trading background. And so we, have, we believe we've got a slightly different approach uh, in terms of uh, how we manage money and, and look to generate those uh, superior risk-adjusted returns that I've mentioned. So we have focused on splitting the book, uh, the, the, the portfolio into two separate books. We, and that is really by duration. If you look at equity markets, they can provide returns in the short term and also in the long term. And so we look through time to take advantage of pricing discrepancies both in the short term and the long term. And we do that by focusing on two separate distinct books. We have a short-term trading book that really leverages our skills in arbitrage and equity trading to take advantage of short-term price discrepancies. And typically when we think short-term, we are looking six months and less, but the average duration of the trades is around three weeks. The second part of the book is a long-term fundamental book, which would look much more like a traditional long-short book, where you're looking to take advantage of mispricing, pricing discrepancies, but they may manifest themselves or reward you for holding them for a longer period of time. So typically there we're taking a two-year view, but again our holding period is probably about a year. So the combination of the two books, they have quite different risk return characteristics. When you blend them into a single fund, which is the nitrogen fund, it creates a nice smooth return profile and allows us to take advantage of short-term price movements and long-term price movements. So, and we overlay this with a risk management framework. So two things, it's important to remember our process is fundamental in nature. So we look at the market from a fundamental perspective. That means gaining a first principle understanding to each and every stock that we invest in and trade, whether we long or short that trade or that stock. So we do a lot of work. Uh, understanding the company, how it makes its money, whether it has a strong business model or potentially a weak business model that we can take advantage of. Uh, but also importantly, how the share reacts to different market environments and different market conditions. If you're trading for the short term, it's important to know or understand and predict to some extent how you think a share may behave in those market environments so you can take advantage of it. What's particularly powerful is we actually look for structural situations that we can predict. And these are typically things like listed corporate structures, uh, dual entry points into the same type of asset. We also uh, trade in corporate actions where you've got mergers and arbitrage, merger arbitrage uh, in announced transactions and event-driven situations as well. So that's to more focused on the, on the short-term trading. And those trades tend to be market neutral in nature, which means your value of your longs equals the values of your shorts. So you're really focusing on relative value there. And that's very much less dependent on market movements. Markets could go up and down, you hedged, and so you should be able to generate returns no matter what the environment. What's also important in terms of the characteristic of that book, or that, that trading book, is that as markets get more volatile, what you find is dislocations, pricing discrepancies increase. They increase in frequency and amplitude. So typically, we're able to profit from difficult market environments. And there's a high correlation between increasing volatility and declining markets. And as we've said, a hedge fund likes to try and make money or protect the downside in those declining markets. And so we're able to trade in this hedged fashion and generate returns. And then the long-term book is much more focused on fundamental stock picking. So that's where you identify stocks that are mispriced uh, for the medium term on a bottom-up basis and you're buying individual stocks. But again, that book would be hedged. We'd have longs, select longs, stocks that we think are cheap uh, on a risk-adjusted basis and will increase in value over time. Also stocks that we think are expensive, are overpriced, will underperform market expectations and will decrease in value over time. 
because to make value from an absolute long a short you have to the, the short has to go down in, in absolute terms uh, in terms of stock price and then what we use is a risk management framework called the Kelly criterion so this is very interesting it comes actually uh, from information theory uh, and it was popularized actually by initially Edward Thorpe who wrote the seminal book called Beat the Dealer which was a book uh, uh, focused on blackjack and being able to count cards and vary the bet in your favor when the count when the odds were essentially in your favor so but it's a, a quite a intuitive framework essentially is what you use it is to allocate capital in the form of exposure to to trades and positions where you believe as a, an investor and a strong analyst is that the the odds are vastly in your favor and that means that you have a higher level of confidence that something is mispriced so in order for us to do that and, and rigorously apply this framework we need to do the analysis to determine what we believe the returns are and then what is the probability of achieving those returns as I mentioned that whole class of structural trades that we do we've done a lot of fundamental work on the trades and then we've also analyzed how those trades behave in different market conditions so important that what our model predicts and what the market behavior is there's a high correlation that gives us the certainty that when we see mispricing from our model that we can take advantage of this such that if we put on a position on this particular trade there's a high probability that we will achieve our expected return and it typically is in a fairly short time frame and importantly the market behavior translates into what we predict and so we're able to put the trade on as I mentioned a fairly short holding period average of around three weeks and you're typically taking fairly small gaps of between one and up to five percent so but if you can take that within a month uh, that can translate if you annualize that to fairly significant returns so that trading book gives a nice base return which is then supplemented by the long short book which is inherently a little bit more volatile so more absolute returns from the short-term trading book and then a slightly more volatile return profile from the long-term fundamental book but all put together creates a very smooth return profile that achieves our risk adjusted returns that we're looking to deliver to our investors. Rowan thank you for sharing that detail and giving us a better understanding of your fund and thank you for tuning into Black Onyx for more information please visit our website.